right, well, here's what we got. Uh, peace plan. We're, we're, we're working on the peace plan here, just scratching it out. <clears throat> uh, which obviously is founded in equality, so, you know, when equality is mandated, inequity is um, willfully and collectively um, done away with. And we work uh, towards our potentials rather than competing against one another. You know, no overlap, no working to prevent the other one, the, the guy next to you from, from doing well or... <clears throat> so, that the whole pot is bigger and everyone gets their one seven billionth share well, it's probably more like one 7.5 billionth share, but so we'll go with that. Okay, so now everyone's got to have a place to live. Well, it just so happens that right now we've got about 7.5 billion um, hominids on the planet. Um, indigenous hominids. And we've got about, uh, oh, here, let's just stop and have a little look. The road gets pretty boring. About 7.5 billion acres of uh, what's called arable land. That's land where you could reasonably expect to grow uh, some kind of food without any kind of technology. I mean, in fact, anywhere even in space you can with a little bit of technology, right? Hydroponics, greenhouses, whatever, eh? <clears throat> Desalinations in the form of uh, solar evaporators, you know, it's endless. Uh, <clears throat> so, we divide all that up. Everybody gets an acre, which is, um, uh, uh, what, 212 feet by 212 feet, roughly. And, you know, for the first settlement, we can swap it around to our likings and all, but, uh, Basically what it is, it's a lifetime lease, and um, <clears throat> when you die, it uh, either goes back into the pot, or if you've uh, made a replacement child, you know, you might want to leave it to them, they can have it, otherwise they don't have a place. Uh, coincidentally, it is your responsibility to provide shelter for your whoever you bring into the world. <clears throat> so they have an inherent place, right to live. You know, and if you make 10 kids and 100 grandchildren, well, <clears throat> your one acre is gonna get pretty fucking crowded. So you'll learn quick when half your family dies off because you couldn't sustainably support it. Like I said, we can do wrangling, you know, and, and adjustments for the first uh, shot to allow for not all land is of comparable value. Um, and that leaves us 80%, so 80 acres, or eight, eight acres per person of um, less than naturally arable land. You know, could be a place where you're growing lumber or mining or for the public, for the common good, for everyone. You know, of course it can be, has to be, uh, have sustainable rules governing it. Better like a uh, constitution. That enshrine the rights, a charter that enshrine the rights and obligations. Of any sovereign being that uh, wishes to partake in their one acre. You know, they may want to trade it off. Maybe they're living in a condo in the city and that's where they want to live out their days. And, you know, 
kids have all gone and done their thing or whatever. And they want to do some sort of a swap with a farmer that wants, you know, 100 acres or whatever. The whole thing is, is that everyone has one acre to be on. They can grow their food and just be their own sovereign if they want. Or join the internet community or collective or national. And it suits them. That's really the only way you can cooperation. If it isn't willfully, it's not. It's, it's tyranny. It's not in balance with uh, any hominids needs. And of course, if you've got 10 children now, that doesn't mean you get 10 acres. You, 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 when you become a, a responsible sovereign, you now passing whatever test we agree to, which is you know, not necessarily say age, but ability, wisdom, capacity, well then, there you go. But if you fuck up and you start ruining it, polluting the land so it's not sustainable and of at least equal value when you're done and turning it back in to your off, your, your replacement offspring or, or back into the collective if you don't have any offspring. Well, you're, you're evicted. Now, if you've got a family, well, then I guess that's when it would go to your, your, your offspring and you know, if they want to let you stay there. But they better make sure you don't wreck the fucking line anymore or they'll get evicted too. Because that's part of the obligation. So every person will have eight acres of public land for whatever. That doesn't meet the uh, caption of variable. And you won't be able to sell it or put a lien against it. And you can only maintain that right for a set period of time and until you make minimum use of it, minimum sustainable use, like I say, it has to be all defined down to the T, given the different kinds of lands there. And basically, you have to make use of it. You can't just sit there and speculate on it all you like. You know, you got like, once you take possession, you got like two years or whatever. To, to meet this level, and then five years to meet the next level, and, you know, and maintenance, you have to, <clears throat> so it's not going to waste for being used, to, taken out of service to create false scarcities and up values, so you can't sell it anyhow. All you can do is possess it, occupy it, and make proper use out of it. So there ain't no point trying to kill your neighbor and take his land, or trying to cheat him or scam him, because that's it, you, you can have one acre, that's it. You know, if at some point in the future everybody decides, well, no, we want to up the population and make, you know, three kids instead of one kid to replace the husband and one to replace the wife. who inherit your rights when you die, they don't. You know, once everyone's covered on the first shot, everyone that's living when this goes into effect, well, <clears throat> they get one acre, that's, that covers, that takes care of the 7.5 billion arable acres. But after that, no, no, you have children, you wanna bring a replacement into the world, but when you die, well, they don't, they don't get this right. It's just like a taxi driver, a taxi cab license until you turn it back in and over to them. So, you know, they basically uh, have a right to live with you. Or maybe they'll go marry and live on someone else's estate or whatever, but... So that pretty well 
gives the incentive for not upping the earth population to unsustainable levels, although I still say we need 10 billion fully functioning Homo sapiens to begin the mandate into space, which is, you know, the Star Trek thingy, the sustainability, which of course starts with preventing your own extinction, which always comes from space, from the heavens, from creators, stars, supernovas. But occasionally even small things with meteorite impacts. And of course, all the resources that come out of that 80% is for the common good, and that's what pays for, for maintaining the roadways and the parks and all the public common areas and that's where stuff like well say extra lumber or whatever and when you buy it with your earnings either by service to the system in one way or another or to someone else and you know they give you gold or whatever or whatever you wanted to trade in and you trade that back into the system into the uh, into the common <clears throat> and that helps um, pay for that minimum level of governance which is you know not the socialist crap we got now I'm sorry I don't need somebody to tell me how high I can make my fence or whatever eh? I need somebody to tell me if I'm if there's a public danger or, or to sew me together or whatever from, from the hospital but uh, even education is pretty well all at the point where it would be far superior to be computerized in the convenience of a child's own home. Get yourself a nanny robot if you can't stand doing it yourself. <laughs> Go and work and pay the nanny robot company to <clears throat> maintain your offspring. And of course this goes hand in hand with them. Um, or if, if you really can't um, make peace and you gotta cover what the neighbor has and fight over it and cheat over it, well then we just divide up everything by taxing it at 100% and then negative taxation of refunding it. If you need a big state to make peace, well, then that, that's the last phase. Which is exactly, you know, it's, it's the only way out. The only way to make peace other than a complete police state. Which is, of course, any imbalance of power and authority, is, uh, as the Swiss know all too well, is prone to mass corruption. You gotta take that something out of that triangle so it, you can't get tyrannies. Uh, includes nobody having too much power, too much authority, too much influence. Rather, common conclusions being the guide by which we choose to follow, knowingly because we've absolved ourselves of ignorance and we know that any other way is to be less profitable, less prosperous. So, well, I guess if we've split up all the property and made it so equal, 
and then we that still didn't work and so then we split up all the income so everybody only makes one seven billionth the only way to make more is to make everybody make more again making rendering competition and cheat and gain obsolete pointless because you can't you can't gain That still don't big bring peace. Well, I guess we'll just <sighs> take her to the final level, confiscate all property, and divide it up too. Divide up all the nukes. I guess there's enough for every country to have at least one. Divide up all the all the guns, all the TVs, all the computers, all the cars. You name it. So, I don't know. Can't learn to make peace then. Peace will learn to make you. I believe you have no incentive to cheat, to fight. And then if you're doing it, you're just doing it because you like to and you're an asshole and so we'll fuck you. Go on your one acre and fuck you with putting up the fence. Just stay in there, you bastard. If you got a vital need, give us a holler. We'll, we'll throw it over the fence. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed today's peace planning. We're uh, Sunday, the end of April, so 28th, perhaps. That's a good solar storm coming. More than likely, by about Tuesday afternoon. Anytime after that for the next five days. Well, peace out. <coughs> Live long and 